potato casserole. It doesn't have to be so serious. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to teach you guys how to make one of my favorite slash easiest Thanksgiving side dishes. I think if you have to go to a potluck, it's one of the simplest ones to make, aside from like literally making carrots, like boiling a pack of carrots. This is right next to it. It's a sweet potato casserole. I mean, it's pretty much you just smush potatoes and sugar, and then you top it with some marshmallows, and it is delicious, very simple to make, and I think it's like one of those first ones you make that way you don't have to stress it as much and you're not making like a whole turkey which you know is like the top of thanksgiving things to make where it's like the hardest and the most cherished this is like for beginners right next to the carrots and the mashed potatoes so i'm going to teach you guys today how i make my sweet potato casserole i know everybody has their own way of making it and everybody does their own thing so i'm just gonna show you how i make it how i like it how my family likes me to make it so don't come for me in the comments to see y'all coming for me that negativity is not allowed i mean I, you know who you are i say the things i say the way i say them even though it's really mean because i do read these i'm gonna try to make thanksgiving easier it's just sweet potato casserole it doesn't have to be so serious okay you need a three pound bag of sweet potatoes i mean you could use the canned ones but i just think these taste better so three pounds of sweet potatoes vanilla extract heavy cream heavy whipping cream, light brown sugar, good old salt, white sugar or like regular sugar, someone say, ground cinnamon, a splash of orange juice, one stick of butter. I get mine salted, like that is just easier. And a bag of marshmallows, it could be the big one, it could be the minis, whichever one your heart desires. Okay guys, so now my sweet potatoes, I cut them all up, cut them into about inch-ish pieces. They don't have to be perfect, just small so everything boils quickly. And I put it on my the highest heat. I'm gonna go ahead and cover them and let them boil till they're fork soft, like kind of like what you would want a potato to be before you match it. Okay guys, I went ahead and removed them from the boiling hot water. They're super hot and super soft to the touch. It took about 30 minutes. Now that they're super easy, you can just use a fork to mash them. We're gonna go ahead and put an entire stick of salted butter. I mean, it's Thanksgiving. You need your butter. No one's watching calories today. We're just gonna cut up the butter and smash the potatoes and get everything nice. Almost like you were, it's just like mashed potatoes, really. I'm just gonna use a fork because I don't know where my potato smasher is, so a fork will work. You wanna just get that salted butter in there. Okay, so you just want to get the potatoes nice and smashed and incorporate your butter. Okay, so you're going to want to go ahead and get your heavy cream. Your, it's, I mean, at this point, we're pretty smashed, but we're going to start incorporating stuff to this. So you're going to want to do about two tablespoons of heavy cream. That's just to add some creaminess and texture to it. This is my secret ingredient right here. You want to add like a splash of orange juice. That's gonna give you some sugar to caramelize as well. And it just creates a nice, like, fresh taste to it. I have one fourth a cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of white sugar. And again, this is not a day that anybody's healthy. This is sweet, this is sugary, this is indulgent. That's why we don't make this casserole every single day. Most days you just eat a sweet potato. You're gonna wanna get a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And if you want, you don't have to put the whole thing because I don't love super cinnamony. I just put like, honestly, a half of a fourth. They don't really make a small measurement in that, so it's pretty much just like a dash. And then you want to put tiniest bit of vanilla extract. Again, this is like, I can't even tell you how much it is because let's see, we're literally just putting a drop. And then you want to mix that all up to make sure it's nice and incorporated. And then if you see any lumps, make sure to get those out. All right, guys, now that we've incorporated everything, I went ahead and just, I went with my flat spatula. I just made it nice and like smooth, as you guys can see. Now, the best part, we're gonna add our marshmallows and make sure your oven is on broil. 
because we're just gonna take a quick second to just crunch up our marshmallows and we will have a potato casserole. And here's the best part. You just go ahead and start putting your marshmallows in. Okay guys, I went ahead and put my marshmallows on there. I'm gonna go ahead and pop them in the oven on broil. You wanna watch it because you literally just want the marshmallows to get golden and then boom, they're done. Okay guys, and for the taste test, I mean I've already had these a million times in my life, but it's the overtime. These are perfect. They go really good with a salty like plate, like meat, gravy, stuffing. Mmm. Now I'm ready for next soup. Look at that. Okay guys, I hope you enjoy my simplest side dish that I personally know how to make. Um, let me know if there's any other side dishes or even a turkey that you guys would like to see how what recipe I like to use for Thanksgiving. Um, I do make a mean stuff, a mean stuffing. Make some good stuffing. And I, I make good stuffing, okay? Um, it's super simple too. It's one of my other things that I like to make aside from like mashed potatoes. I feel like everybody knows how to make mashed potatoes because it's like one of those sides that we make like on every day. But you know, two potato candy ones at least and stuffing are more of a for Thanksgiving type of time. I hope you guys enjoy this and as always thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below and as always I'll see you guys next time. <sighs> Alright, now I have a bunch of sweet potatoes, gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with those. I forgot roasted a chicken. <laughs>